The first minister is facing pressure from within his own party with the Nats expected to suffer losses at this year's general election. Hamza Yusuf has perhaps exceeded expectations by clinging on to the leadership of the SNP for over a year. The first minister has faced a miserable 12 months in the top job as he struggles to deal with both the fallout from the Nicola Sturgeon era and his own limitations as a politician. Reports on Sunday suggested senior nationalists were already plotting to ditch Mr Yusuf as leader. They want a succession plan in place if, as polls suggest, the SNP suffers damaging losses at the general election. Polling suggests the Nat leader is unpopular with the public while his devotion to the Butte House agreement with the Scottish Greens is under the spotlight with Green members set to vote on the possibility of ending it. But who would be most likely to take over if Mr Yusuf is given the boot? Kate Forbes, the first name that will spring to many minds is former Finance Secretary Kate Forbes MSP defeated by Mr Yusuf in last year's bruising leadership contest, a move to the backbenches has failed to take her away from the spotlight. The fact she won 48% of the vote after Ash Regan was eliminated has made life difficult for Mr Yusuf, who was able to call on the party establishment. Seen to represent the right of the SNP, Mr Forbes, 34, social views could prove a sticking point among SNP supporters. However, she has a reputation as a safe pair of hands and her time in the finance brief was praised. Widely seen to be maneuvering herself for a second tilt at the top job, Ms Forbes swears support for Mr Yusuf but it seems she has unfinished business when it comes to leading her party. Stephen Flynn, the SNP's Westminster leader has already showed his ruthless side in getting rid of Ian Blackford in a coup back in late 2022. And Stephen Flynn's ambition could stretch all the way to the SNP leadership itself. Unlike Mr Yusuf, the 35-year-old is unencumbered by the drudgery of Holyrood and has made waves at Westminster on issues such as Gaza, representing the most conservative area of Aberdeen South. Plotters are said to favour an alliance between Mr Flynn and Ms Forbes and the fact Mr Flynn is an MP complicates matters. But he's clearly ambitious and willing to take action to get rid of someone in his way. Mary McCallan, viewed as a rising star of the nationalist movement, Mary McCallan MSP 31, would represent the same wing of the party as Mr Yusuf. As net zero minister, she was forced into a humiliating U-turn last week when the SNP ditched a key climate pledge. But she is popular within certain sections of the party. Ms McCallan has only been an MSP for three years but was previously a special advisor to Nicola Sturgeon. Her lack of experience may prove a stumbling block but she will take maternity leave later this year returning in 2025, meaning she will be absent from the general election campaign. No bad thing if the Nats lose swathes of seats. Neil Gray, another close ally of Hamza Yusuf, Neil Gray MSP was handed the health brief after Michael Matheson quit in disgrace earlier this year. Previously an MP, he left Westminster for Holyrood in 2021. Likely to be an outsider in any leadership race, that could work in his favour as the party looks to heal the damaging splits that have impacted on it in recent years. Cray, 38, was a talented athlete in his youth and may fancy himself to outlast the others in any race. Jenny Gilruth, a surprise name, Jenny Gilruth has also been touted as a potential successor despite her own troubles as a government minister. Previously in the role of transport minister, the MSP was promoted to the cabinet by Mr Yusuf and is currently education secretary. A former teacher herself, Ms Gilruth, 40, is famously married to former Scottish Labour leader Kezia Dugdale. She was criticised for her handling of the Scotrail contract when in the transport role and has faced accusations of not being on top of her brief. But Mr Yusuf has already proven incompetence is no barrier to promotion within the SNP.